Hello world, welcome back to Accelerate and welcome to Accelerate HQ. Now, as Drew said, we are back from Florida, so work on the Civic has already started. As soon as I got back, I advertised the FN2 seats because on the weight reduction video, uh, quite a few people had commented saying that the FN2 seats are really heavy. So first thing I'd done, when I got back from Florida, I advertised the seats and they sold really, really quickly. Now it's very early on a Saturday morning because the guy's coming on to pick these up and I've only just got them out of the car this morning. Now I have got another seat to go in. Um, I shall show you that in a second. They're the FN2 seats ready to go for the new owner. They are mint, I gotta be honest. Um, they are really comfortable as well. It was just I needed a bit more support. So as you can see in the background, I'll show you what that is now. Um, yeah, so the weight of these things as well. Yes, they are very, very heavy. So I went to Bristol just a couple of days ago and picked up this. Now this is a Cobra Imola Pro Sport GT. Now yeah, I do need a slightly wider seat. Be nice. Um, but I also picked up a rail last night from Newport. So I can get a seat straight in the car. As you can see, I've already mounted it on the um, seat rail. Now I bought that as well second hand. These are usually around 150 quid because it's the, you know, the slider. I got it for 50 quid. It was second hand but new. Now I'm going to show you what I mean. So as you can see the seat is in mint condition and all the cushions are still in the original packaging. They haven't even been opened. So I got a really really good deal on this seat. Now unfortunately the guy I bought the seat off I said I'd give him a shout out but our chat has disappeared and I don't know what his name was. He never actually gave it to me. So um, if you are watching, just comment on this. Thanks again for doing a really, really good deal on it. I know it's a little bit cheeky with the offer, but just go back from Florida, I'm skint. So um, next step, we'll see if we can get it in the car and hopefully it fits. Now, for those who haven't seen the FN2 fit in uh, video, check it out. I bought these on the EP3 rails ready to go. As you can see, they've all been welded, bolted um, to go straight in the EP3 to save me messing around. Now, these were very, very comfortable. Um, round track, they were better than the standard EP3 seats, so if you are thinking about it, definitely do it. Um, now, I wanted to go for something more fixed, uh, just for them, basically, the support and weight. So, I've got the seat in there now, the Cobra. I haven't fit the cushions yet, but I'll show you how it was. It was a bit of a pig, because the second-hand rail, um, the slider was too high up. So, what it was doing, it wouldn't allow me to adjust the rail. So, I'd take it back out. <laughs> um, Use a trusty old piece of wood. There she is, and a lump hammer. And yeah, basically I managed to just tap it down a little bit um, just to give it some clearance so the slider worked. Now I'll show you what it looks like in the car. The carpet in this thing is absolutely filthy, but we will be sorting that. So there's the seat. Obviously, like I said, you've got the rail, the slider. Now we are on a hill, so things are a little bit more difficult um so yeah i gotta put the new cushions in now it looks very very low compared to the other one now i didn't buy a low mount rail unless it is a low mount rail but it is on one of the lower settings so i can adjust it but i think you'll agree that looks fantastic so i'll get the cushions in it now um have a little trial sit myself and drew's actually at home today because he had his works party last night, so we'll get him up here tomorrow and see what he thinks of it. Now, just a quick one. These seats, uh, you can actually change the thickness of the padding. They supplied um, straight away with medium, but or middle. But you can get thinner or thicker padding, so which is really handy. Now, these are still in the wrappers, <laughs> which is great. So I'm going to get these off now, get them into the car, and we'll see how they look. One thing I do want to point out, I was thinking which uh, which end is top, which end is bottom, but they are tapered and they're just Velcro, so they literally just stick in there. And it's as easy as that, so let's get the other two in. So there we have it, it's in. How good does that look? I know the carpet is absolutely filthy, but it's got to come out because I've got to uh, get the cage welded in soon. So that's another video. Um, but I've had a little sit in it, it's much more supportive than the other one. Now it's hard to tell the angle at the moment for me because I shall show you the angle we are at. We're on this hill. So, yeah, when I get it on the flat, I'll adjust it the way I need to. Um, now, Nathan Nash has sorted me out as well with a passenger standard EP3 seat for now, uh, just so I don't have to go everywhere on my own at the moment. So, next step, 
get a bit seat off him and we'll see what Drew thinks of it. Greetings! So we're back in the garage. Hello Bruce. Say hello. Yeah. <laughs> this thing like it is cold in here. Yeah. It feels like ages since I've been here. So Kenny's got the seat in. I take it, it's already yeah, it's, it's all bolted it's in. Bolted in, yeah. I wanna see what you think of it. Let me take my my, <laughs> my master yeah, jacket off yeah. so I can get a good feel. Right, so like we've said, uh, Kenny's probably covered it as well, but the FN2, they're awesome seats. They are, yeah. Comfy and supportive, but my god, do they wear a ton. Yes, that's the thing. And obviously, yeah, we wanted some in. A bit more supportive as well. Yeah, check out that. What? Oh, oh. I can't believe this was second hand, but I mean, it Never was brand new. Never used, it? yeah, exactly. It looks really low. Have you sat in it? I have, yeah. It's the seat's all the way back, because obviously, this, yeah, it's easier to get in and out. I think oh, Bruce wants to get in. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> He's in. Race done. <laughs> right. the other side. You go. Shotgun. He's like, my chair? Whoa. Okay, so I looked. I used to own a Cobra Monaco Pro, and that thing was so uncomfortable. I, I thought this was going to be the same. This yeah. feels really good. I was worried, obviously, you having another Cobra because after yeah. you said about yours, but that is comfortable. Right? That is nice, and it is. I mean, you're bigger than me. <laughs> He's a little bit bigger than me, obviously. Yeah. But yeah, it's okay. Okay. And the beauty is, it is on sliders. Mine are all solid mounted, but. Oh yeah, that's. <laughs> trying, to, trying to work it, Bruce. He does it. It's Bruce Charles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to film. Sit down, sit down. So I've always said one of the most effective things you can do for the money is putting a, uh, a racing seat in a bucket seat in, in a truck car. It's so distracting. I know. I'm sorry, he <laughs> but, loves the motor. So. But yeah, I, I can't wait for you to now take this on track. With this seat, and you've exactly. ordered harnesses, or are you going yes, to? I have. <sighs> have a harness for now. Like yes, I said, I got yeah. the MP3 seat to go in the passenger side for now. Yeah, so I can keep them company. Yeah. But well, yes, Bruce, it is. Even. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's going to be yeah, and we've got loads more coming. But I gotta say, you've made a really good choice with this seat. You got a bargain with it. I and, definitely uh, did. Yeah, I had a good deal on it. So it's something you definitely need. It. Have you said about the weight on the FN2 seats? Um, no, I haven't. Right, the FN2 seats, uh, the driver's one is 27 kilos, the passion one's 25, so that's 52 kilos. Now that's this crazy. seat, with the side rails on it, mm -hmm. was 10.8 kilos. What? So, and honestly, I don't think it's much difference between the side mounts and the no. slider. It yeah. really isn't, because yeah. they are so thick, they're really, really thick. They're <laughs> proper Cobra ones. Oh, so, nice. Yeah, so we've taken quite a bit of weight out of there already. Yes, I can't wait to get this thing back on the scales. So, yeah, this is it. This is crazy. This is... We were saying earlier, you, you look at this car when we first got it to now, it's because a million miles from where it was. It really was. is. Yeah, just a little sneak peek as well. We've got a load of parts there. Yes, indeed. I just want to show you a little something. <laughs> just a little something. Obviously, we're changing all the calipers and carriers. Yep. Now, this one, I've already painted. Ooh, that's, that's a really funky colour. Not wow, a million miles off. Yeah, so, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. cool. Something else to uh, to keep an eye on. So, in case you guys haven't seen, just over there we've got the cage. Yep. And if you haven't seen it, it looks so much better with the lip in it. It's so it I feel like I haven't seen this car for ages. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so like we keep saying, obviously we're building these cars for track. We've got big things happening with the MX-5, big things happening with this. Yeah, and lots of plans. This is just going to be an absolute weapon on track now, it really wait. is. I can't wait. So yeah, that'll do it for now. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Ooh.